Is this the same girl I went to a party with and drove down here a moment ago? <laughs> My dear, this is how we survive in this house. Thank you so much for taking me to Adam's party. I really enjoyed it. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Yeah. Okay, so shall we say goodnight? Oh, not yet. Uh, oh. Ada, you know I like you so much. And I've been waiting for an opportunity to say it. Honey, I need to get into the house right now because very soon my father will be awake and that is doom for me. Ada, just give me a few minutes. Huh? Give me a listening ear. Let me just... What's the matter with you? Oh, you want to play out to get, right? Okay. <laughs> I like the game. Please don't do this to me. I beg you in the name of Let's God. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I beg you in the name of God. Please! Don't shoot me, don't, don't, don't kill me. You have nothing in here. They have money there. Where's your house? I, I didn't leave here, I just came to drop her here. There? Yes. No, 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 There, 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 there. That's my house. There. I don't leave. That's not my house. Then take us to your house. Oh. Oh, and please be. Oh, hey! I will shoot you. Please, please. Hey. Please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Go by the car. Don't. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm just going to go back. Who is that? It's me, Ngozi. Which Ngozi? Ngozi, Sir Joseph's daughter. 
Ok. Get down. I am it. Yeah, come to my room. Come in. Get them out of here. Are you all right? Get out of here. Get out. Get off.
Who is there? Sorry about it all day. I'm so, so sorry. I think it's all my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone with that animal. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. Hmm? Let me open the gate, please. I'll be back. I'm sorry. Good morning, Daddy. Gozi, what are you doing up at this time? Dad, I couldn't sleep anymore. Maybe because I went to bed too early. I suppose it's morning and you... It is to five. What is I going to do? Well, I'll just sit here for a while and read my book. All right, all right. Good morning, all the same. Morning, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. After all, you are teaching we your younger ones well.
Boma. Yeah, boss. Were you not there when I told your sister to go back to the house? Uh, yes, I was. Well, she's not here. Meaning she flagrantly disobeyed me. Uh, so would you like me to call her for you? No, no, no. Don't worry. She will come here and meet me. Okay, boss. All right. Mildred! Come on, babe. You have to go now. The, it, just, it just called me on the phone. Now he needs you home. Now, what do you want me to do? Listen, Tamuno. Listen, if it's a mistake for her to have gone to the party, I mean, the mistake has already been made. What you should do as a brother is to take her to the hospital. Take good care of her. And have them run a couple of tests. Let them also treat her if any injury. Remember, you're a keeper since your parents are abroad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, you're crying, Abby. You're crying. Didn't I want you not to attend that party? Didn't I? See, look, because you're older than me does not mean I cannot give an instruction concerning your well-being, Iberi. You have to Calm listen down, to me sometimes. Calm down, Tamuno. Calm down. Let's not trade blames here. It's not helping but worsening the situation. Calm down. Okay, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for my outburst. Later, I'll call Dr. Kemi to come in and take a look at you. Sorry. And so, what did you say this man's name is and where does he live? His name is... Shut up! What? Um, I... Tamano, see, I think we should forget him. It was entirely my fault that I went to his party. Look, I said, what is his name and where does he live? So you now feel you can disobey me then? Adam, try and understand me. I am lonely. How can I be locked up in the house without going out? I want you to tell me. What is it that you asked me that I did not give you? Is there anything you want that you don't have? Money is not everything. I'm a woman. I need love, attention, and you to be with me. Now. No one disobeys me and goes scot free. This serves as a warning. The next time, I won't be that lenient. How do I do what? I mean, coming back from the party around 5 a.m. this morning and getting ready for service by 7 a.m. That's even before those who had good seven and eight hours sleep. Come on. You must be a genius. You monitoring spirit. You monitoring spirit. I bind you. I reject you. I cast you from following me about. I reject you. Cast. Hada. Is there something you are hiding that you don't want me to see? Or is it a case of the guilty being afraid? Wait a minute. Anyone would think the first daughter of the most respected side you for has nothing to hide. You're a fool. 
You sure are the best actress in Nollywood. Hammer Movie Awards organizers, please take note. This actress deserves an award. I'm ready, everyone. Ah. Oh, good morning, Dad. Daddy, good morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Daddy. <laughs> Come to think of it, either you got ready for service today before me. Yes, Daddy, I beat you into this time. Mm. It won't happen again, I promise you. Uh, I hope so. Let me help you adjust your color. All right. Mm. Oh, here comes my angel. Come, my dear. Did I tell you that my prayer for you is that a nice gentleman should come and marry you? A gentleman that will provide all you need in life without struggling. Say amen, Jose. Amen, Daddy. <laughs> amen to that. <laughs> and when I get married, yes. I'll be a blessing to you so that your old age will be a blissful one. <gasps> Say amen, Daddy. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Everybody's ready and waiting for you, as usual. Come, 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 Auntie. Come and um, help me with this hair tie. Okay. Yeah, take this thing. Oh. Can we spin? Where? Yeah, just here. Oh. Hmm. What does it look like? Bad. Deadly bad. <laughs> How do you mean bad? Mommy, bad means beautiful. Mm. Oh. Elegant. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Something happened early hours of this morning. Yeah? What happened? Please, come in. Thank you. Yes, she is. Please, I'll be downstairs. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. How are you, Ibiri? I feel like dying. You're not going to die. In fact, you must get through this. I have brought with me Dr. Tosin. She's a human rights lawyer, and she's specialized in rape cases. After I've finished examining you, she would have one or two words to say with you. I want you to know that, unfortunately, you're not the only victim of rape. But there is hope that perpetrators of these heinous crimes have been penalized through our efforts and some other related organizations. Very encouraging. Thank you. Let us start by examining you. I'm going to give you some injections now because I can see that you did not sleep well yesterday night. But oh, I'm going to get the injection from the car. But in the meantime, you can discuss with Dr. Tosin because when I return and I administer the drug on you, it's going to knock you out. Okay? Like Dr. Kemi told you, apart from my psychiatric cases, we also take up cases such like this and we punish the offenders. But we can only do that with the consent of the victim. Oh, I wish that man would go to jail and rot there forever. It is possible. It all depends on her. My dear, would you like us to pursue the matter? As, as soon as they drove off, the stupid Tony uh, drove away and then I, I quickly entered the house. 
Oh my goodness. Father, thank God you didn't take them to the neighbor's house. Though. Imagine what they would have been saying by now. Yes, who is it? Come in. Mom? Yes, dear. Ada, we are late for church. Okay, we'll be there in a minute. Hurry, right, please. Yes. Ada. Yes, ma'am. Make sure you keep this incident to yourself. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Let me help you. You see, my dear, that is why whenever a people please God, they prosper and enjoy peace with their neighbors. Very correct, Dad. Yes. Oh, look at this verse. Okay. It says, sin is a reproach, but righteousness exalts a nation. That is it. Didn't I say you are an angel? <laughs> <laughs> you really are, my dear. Hello. Okay, it's like your morning is here. Mom, Shall we? Mom, you're late again. Uh, I'm keeping daddy waiting. You know, as a prominent person, it is not proper for him to be late. Shut your mouth. <laughs> if your father had two cars, he would have gone ahead of me. Uh -huh. But since he doesn't have, he has to wait. Uh -huh. Mom, you know dad has a lot of responsibilities, like paying school fees and all. How much is his salary? Uh, please spare me. A director general of a parasata in a ministry that relies on his salary. <laughs> he is plain righteous and he will not get anything past his salary. That is corruption. Eh? It is wrong morally and spiritually. So we have to remain wretched. Eh? I am sorry for you and your father. Righteous people. So, Dr. Kerman, how is she? This life is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>